today I wanted to talk about E names because I haven't done that in a while with the ABC names. So here we go. <clears throat> the first name I want to talk about is Ebony. I love this name. Uh, the first time I heard it was on the show called The Tribe. They don't play that anymore, but I love that show. I had to watch it every day after school. And it means dark, black, wooded tree, and it's English. I think this would be so cute for a little girl. It's on one of my name lists from, I have a lot of name lists. Let's just face it, I have a whole book. Um, the next name is Edith. First time I heard this name was on Despicable Me, and my husband loved it. And it means rich war, and it's English, too. I think this is a gorgeous name, also. And the next name is Elaine, and it means bright or light, and it's English. And I think Elaine is so cute. It is a form of Helen. If you have a family member named Helen, you could always use the name Elaine or or something like Ellen, because that's a form of Helen too. So. The next name is Ella, and it means young girl, and it is Spanish, and I love this name. I think there was a movie called Ella Enchanted, and that's where I heard it first. Anna Hathaway plays in it. Yeah. So, the next name is, I think it is pronounced Enola, and it is African, and it means wealthy. If I'm not pronouncing that right, please let me know. But I love this name. The next name is Emerson. It means son of Emery. And Emery means work ruler. So basically it means the same thing. I love this name. I would so use this for a girl. I had it on our list at one time. The next name is Esther, and it is Hebrew, and it means star or myrtle leaf. And the next name, well, let me go back to Esther, sorry. Esther, um, it is a beautiful name, and it's a good way to honor my grandma that had, her name was Lester. Her name was Lester Virginia Sue, and... That would be a good way to honor her, Esther. Okay, the next name is Evan. My brother really liked the name Evanescence to honor his favorite band for a little girl if they ever have another child. And he was asking me one day, what is a good way to honor Evanescence without using Evanescence? And I was like, well, what about Evan? Because Evan's in the band name, Evanescence. Evan, that'd be cute. And he's like, oh, I like that. Good thinking. So, if they ever have a little girl, it probably would be Evan. Evan means God is good, and it's Welsh. And the next name is Emma. And it means universal. I love the name Emma. I had a dream, like, a couple months after me and my husband got engaged, that we had a little girl. And right before I woke up, the doctor asked me what I would name her, and I just screamed out, Emma. So, it's been on our list ever since then. If it wasn't for my gene like in the name Scarlet, we probably would go with Emma. The next name is Everlease. It is a combination of Eve, uh, not Eve, sorry, Ever and Lisa. And I think this is beautiful. And the meaning of it is the same meanings of Lisa and Ever. Ever is always. And Lisa is bound by God. So it's always bound by God. I think that is a beautiful meaning. Ever, Lisa. It's different. I think it needs to have a 
spotlight on it. You know, more little girls name ever released. I could see a little girl. I would so use this name. The next name is, hold on a second. I got to find it. It's on this piece of paper. Ever. I know I, I just mentioned Everlist, but Ever is so cute and different, and it's a word name. And I like the double barrel name Ever Rose. I think that is just so cute. Okay, now on to boys. The first name is Eli, and that's my brother's son's middle name. His name, my brother Josh has got a... Uh, Tongue tied again. My brother Josh has a son, and his name is Joshua Eli. And um, we call him Eli for short. And it means high, or I think that, yeah, it means high. Somebody like that is like up above everybody, I guess. What does that mean? I guess that's what it means. And it's Hebrew. And then the next name is Elvin. And this is one of my best friend's middle names. And it means elf friend. I think that's a cute spinoff. Elvin. If you like Alvin, but you don't want to use it, you could always use Elvin. It needs some more attention. I think it's adorable. I mean, especially in the middle name spot. Or you can use it as a first name and call him L for short. Um, maybe. <clears throat> the next name is Ethan, and it means strong. And I think Ethan is so cute. And I, I can understand why people like it. The next name is Elijah. The first time I heard this was because of Elijah Woods. And it means the Lord is my God. And I think this is adorable. And the next name is Elliot. I really wanted to put Elliot on the girls because I prefer it on a girl. I love it on a girl. But there's not very many E names for boys on my list, so I went ahead and put it on the boys' names. And it means the same thing as Elijah. The Lord is my God. The next name is Ezra. And I love this name. I've heard it. First time I heard it was Pretty Little Liars. And I would so use this for little boys. Ezra. It's so cute. I mean, it's unique, different, and still in the Bible. So, if you really want a really good biblical name, Ezra. <clears throat> and it means help. The next name is Emmanuel. It means God is with us. And I love this name, Emmanuel. But one of my favorite actors, actresses, is a name Emmanuel, but she goes by Emmy. She plays a character on Shameless named Fiona. So it could be for a girl or a boy, but I put it on the boys. The next name, but the next name and the last name is Eugene. Eugene. <clears throat> I knew a kid in school named Eugene, but he went by a nickname. And it means well-born. I mean, I think it's still usable. What do y'all think? Should you give Eugene another chance? I mean, it's old-fashioned. But there's probably not going to be another Eugene if you use it in school when the kid gets older. Because everyone else is using a lot of other names nowadays. So let me know what you think about all these names. And please subscribe to my channel. And leave comments below. And also I was wondering what do y'all think about me doing a series of talking about the names of soap opera. You know the names of the shows. <clears throat> like my grandma Ma Jean. Her favorite shows were General Hospital and stuff like that. Would y'all like me to do videos about their names? Thank you for watching. Bye.